Greetings. Uh, gotta go back again for a quick little review of a film that a lot of people have seen. A lot of people have seemed to put their reactions towards. And some are confused. Some praise it. Some hate it. And others are, well, in general, just not sure or basically haven't seen it. Now, for this review on what the title suggests, Kung Fu Panda 4, that came out uh, about last week. And I just want to say that, uh, well, first of all, before I continue, there's a couple things I should mention. Is first, uh, thank you if, you know, by the time that this video, you know, is uploaded or after a few days or so if I hit 500 subscribers which will likely happen uh, I want to appreciate everyone who has subscribed and if of course if you're a viewer and you haven't subscribed I would recommend doing so I do a bunch of Hoi4 content and modding so if you are interested in that feel free to leave a like comment subscribe um, also, aside from all that, and um, Kung Fu Panda 4 has a lot of things jumbling, but another thing before I should mention is that this review may have spoilers. Now, I wanted to try my hardest to avoid spoilers, but unfortunately, I don't think I can without mentioning the detail of the film itself. Now, from the last video, I reacted to how they brought back the previous villains, including Shen. Now, that's a nice touch and all, but I've been told by people as well as my reaction to it, to the film, which, not gonna lie, was kind of a thorn in my side about the whole film. Shen and Kai lacked voices now obviously a lot of people have known about this um but basically the film was trying to take a new approach and it was trying to focus on just poe and his you know leading up to his succession with zen who he figured could be worthy as the next dragon warrior now of course there are other stuff that i might have to spoil because well again i don't there's really nothing else i can do i can't just tell vague information it just doesn't work like that so i will say that kung fu panda 4 does have its ups it does have its downs I have seen countless reviews. Now, I am probably going to use a page to help me out here. But Kung Fu Panda 4, when this came out, a lot of people were unfortunately mixed about the film. Now, despite the cast being solid themselves, it's not the cast's fault. And I don't, I don't want to say it's completely the plot. But I will say that... The aspects of some scenes didn't add up. It felt a little rushed, as well as, well, I guess you can say the lack of voices, like I mentioned. Um, I will say, though, that this film wasn't, I don't want to say it's not terrible. It's definitely far from terrible, but it's also far from amazing. This film offered, I guess, new characters, but it offered little to no new aspect of not just the villain, because, yes, they were trying to go with, like, a sorceress, and the sorceress is supposed to be, well, you know, that person who is trying to take power from other masters and learn Kung Fu that way, which is kind of an artificial way to do it, but, I don't know. 
to me personally, that doesn't smell unique. Or it doesn't even look unique. So, the unfortunate factor with this film is it's not the casting's fault. It has great effects. And the effects are not even the biggest problem. But I will safely say that this film... I, sorry if I keep cutting. Uh, apparently my dog is barking in the back. Sorry. Just deal with it. Um, anyways. This film, in general, is... They said it got a lot of good reviews. But a lot of people claim, and I do see why they claim this, is the film is completely running out of steam. Or is starting to. And usually when it comes to sequels, that kind of thing happens. I cannot fathom why they thought that this film was going to be a huge blockbuster in this year. Now, as bad as some parts of the film are, it is, or at least as much as they try, like even I wanted to try to like this film, but there was a lot of things holding me back. One is it felt very rushed. The plot was all over the place. Now, the plot itself is not terrible, but the execution was way too fast. They literally just... What they did was they hopped to one scene, then they hopped to another. There's no suspense buildup. Now, I understand and like... Remember back in Kung Fu Panda 2, when Shen was first seen, he was literally one of, or if not the first... Uh, person or villain to actually make an appearance. Now, of course, there was his boss wolf, but he doesn't count as a major. He's a supporting villain. I would safely say that this film is... I want to give it a 6 out of 10. Now, the reason why I gave it an above 5 was because of the fact that the film, like I said, the plot was rushed. There was no... And keep in mind, when I say a plot is rushed, that doesn't mean the plot itself. It doesn't mean the actual writing. It actually means that on camera, they literally just swept through it. So, in case if you're confused, that's what it is. So, hope that clears that up. This film, on the other hand... Uh, Another big thing, and I mentioned it before, and I will say it again. It's the lack of voices for the other characters. Such as, yeah, they gave Steve, who was supposed to be this crocodile. Now, he breeds fire, which was a pretty fun little thing. Kind of remind me of Wolf Boss, except with an actual superpower. But Wolf Boss isn't there. So, um... They gave him a voice, but they never gave Shen nor Kai any kind of voice whatsoever. That is a huge disappointment for me. Now, I understand that they only gave one of the villains a voice, and I'm glad to say that Ian McShane did come back. That was, that was right there was a solid, I'm not going to lie, but... It felt partially empty. It was like a road that was paved, but it has plot holes form along it, and it's a very bumpy ride. Like, there is no clean, smooth drive with this one. So, I also... I understand Poe's dads are have been in the Kung Fu Panda films ever since the third one, but it's not just the films, but he, they were also in there during, like, the show's... Sometimes they make appearances here and there. I understand that they wanted to make it so that Poe has support, but I don't see how they would support Poe, to be honest with you, because they're not martial artists themselves. They're not professional, at least compared to the Furious Five, who, spoiler alert, they do make an appearance very briefly in a cameo at the very end of the film. So, in general, and guess what? For them, no voices. Not even, not even Jackie uh, Chan. Not even for 
Mantis with Seth Green. Not even Lucy Liu for Viper. Nobody. Like, it is literally empty of any voice lines. Yeah, there might be archived voices, maybe like when they're like grunting or something, trying to train Zen, but nothing. So, that's another minus points for this film is and it goes along with the missing actors and according to the listing here there's only eight main actors that looks very significantly lower than that of you know the previous films even kung fu panda 3 if i recall correctly had more voices and more variety of voices see look this is way this is more than eight this is at least 12 listed right here not counting other people or some but look at this they literally had all these voices and yet they have failed miserably with that if they actually took the time to add voices or at least find replacements of certain voices like for example i understand gary Oldman might not have been available or jk simmons might not have been but could they have found someone similar like, at the very least, I'm not saying AI generate the voices. That's very, uh, that's way too artificial for my taste. And I'm sure many can agree that voicing, like, AI for a movie just doesn't feel authentic. So, I'm very disappointed what they've done with the voices. The effects, still good. The graphics... Or, like, the general, like, shading and vibe of the film is very solid. That is something I think is the quintessential peripheral of any Kung Fu Panda film. Without it, this film is garbage. But I will also say that the biggest reason why I gave this film 6 out of 10 was simply the cameos. That's it. That is literally the only saving grace for this film that's it if it wasn't for the cameos this film most likely would have gotten a four out of ten or maybe a five out of ten from me it would have been much lower than previously imagined because if it wasn't for those cameos referencing all the past villains and such and first of all they don't even have voices so what's the point if they don't make an appearance, it's going to suck. Now, I understand people are also telling me and you know, here and there that it's also not a good idea to reuse villains. Yes, I do agree with that, but here it was warranted, at least for this time. I don't know if they're going to do this again. Probably not because they know that it might not work as well. But the three classic villains actually you know, appeared. That was, that right there was a huge thing. If they didn't cameo them, but they cameoed the Furious Five with no voices, it just would not be the same. They would lose so much more ratings with this film. So, the character designs are solid, although I have heard comments about why people hate um, Zen, which I... I don't know, maybe maybe it's because I'm not looking at it the right way, or maybe it's just I've seen so many Kung Fu Panda films over the years that, I don't know, it's just, I'm kind of used to them trying to take a unique approach with certain characters and species, I guess you could say. Like, Shen's was unique. I mean, who can disagree with me on that? I mean, if you do, whatever, but... So... I guess in conclusion to this review, and sorry for if there was any background noise heard, but this film, I want to say, is extremely mixed. Even I was confused after the first time watching it. Although, there were two scenes that I liked, and that was the Furious Five training Zen. Even though they didn't have voice lines, it was at least good to see them. Same with the villains. Although, they only gave Ian McShane a voice which was Tai Long, his trademark role for this. So, 
And come to think of it, if I recall correctly, Tai Long, played by Ian McShane, is literally, as far as I know, in Kung Fu Panda history, in terms of movies, I am not counting TV shows, he is the only villain that actually reprised his voice role. Now, of course, all that could have been changed if they gave Shen and Kung Fu Panda you know, the voices they needed. Like, if they actually brought Gary Oldman and J.K. Simmons in, but I digress. So, honestly, I don't want to say I loved the film. I only like the film. Um, The film was, in general, I want to say it was solid, but it was not solid enough. It, it's not made of stone, it's made of clay, basically. Like, it's a clay brick. Not a stone brick, a clay brick. That's all I'm going to call it. So, do I expect the fifth one to be any better? Honestly, probably not. I don't see the fifth one breaking this anytime soon. And let alone if they are going to come out with a sequel, which is debatable. They did confirm back in 2010 that there would be a total of six films, but honestly, at this point, in my opinion, this is probably the best place to stop and move on to other parts of the franchise and come up with unique ideas rather than just, you know, keep burning it over and over again, like just, or just beating it like a dead horse. You just don't, you just don't do it. So, um, so yeah, I guess that's my little review of the film. If you disagree with my review or, you know, if you have a pointer about it, comment down below. I am willing to listen to your comment and I will be watching them for the next few days. If you also, uh, I I will also like to start doing this. Anybody who leaves a comment, I would be more than welcome to shout them out in the community section of the channel. So whoever makes the best comment for here is more than likely going to get a shout out. But of course, you know, I'm just here to do a review, but, you know, keep your comments good and, you know, don't spread hate. Um, So in general... 6 out of 10. Could be better, could be worse. So, yeah. Um, I hope you have a good day. Again, sorry about the noise. Take care, and I'll see you around.